Please welcome back AWE executive producer Ori Inbar. Hey, everybody. How do you like my new smart glasses? They make me look smart, right? No, I'm kidding. I just use it for awards shows. So welcome, everybody. It's great to be hosting the ninth Augie Award show at AWE 2018. <laughs> the Augie Awards have been recognizing excellence in XR since 2010. Over 60 or maybe actually 80 companies have gone on with the, the trophy. This one-of-a-kind handcrafted art piece by my favorite artist, my wife, Sigal, give it up. <laughs> and the 3D model by Yeser Studio. Isn't it cool? Yeah. All right. So tonight we present winners in 10 categories. We had a record 240 nominations this year and 145,000 votes. Yes, we know many of them were bots. But aren't bots people too? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. To ensure fairness, we wanted to make sure that the, judges, the judging committee had a chance to save some of the companies that didn't make the cut but were uh, worthy of being part of the finalists. In fact, 15 nominations were saved to a total of 65. So tonight, 10 winners will go home with the Augie, and two people will go home with the next tent award, presented by the Virtual Award Society. All right, and here are the categories that will go home with the 10 awards tonight. Best art or film, best campaign, best consumer app, best creator and authoring tool, that's a new category for this year, best developer tool, best enterprise solution, best game or toy, best head-worn device, best input and output hardware, also a new category tonight, and best interaction software tools, another new category for tonight. Our judges this year are probably the best lineup that we've ever had. Many years of, of experience in XR and from the most respected companies out there. They worked really hard last week to evaluate each one of these 65 nominees based on quality, user experience, and impact. And here they are. And here there are some more. And now we're on for the first category, best art or film. To present the first award, I want to bring on stage Innovation Director of IEEE Standard Association, Jay Yorio. Give it up. How often do we get a new form of art? Um, not very often. In the 20th century, we had broadcasting, cinema, and uh, uh, recorded audio, and they revolutionized our culture. Uh, now we have te technologically enabled tech, uh, art forms stretching from uh, digital augmentation of the physical space all the way to VR cinema, and it's a very exciting time to be an artist. So with that in mind, the nominees for Best Art or Film are... The nominees for Best Art or Film are... Caqueta, Alliance with Nature, by VR Americas, LLC. Harim and Noor, by Blink Studios. Charlie Fink's Metaverse, an AR-enabled guide to VR and AR, by Charlie Fink. Aurora, by Pink Kong Studios. Parabola at San Francisco Design Week by Heavy Projects. And the winner of Best Art or Film is Karim Noor by Blink Studios. This is really a 
a big surprise for us. We didn't expect this. We started this journey in 2016 in Dubai, and uh, it was the first attempt to create storytelling for children using this medium. Uh, by combining uh, creating story experience and uh, understanding the latest technology in XR, we tried to present something new for the kids that touches on social emotional learning through the new technology. Thank you so much, AWE, for recognizing that. Thank you so much. Well, a little photo opportunity coming here. Next category is best campaign to present the award. I want to bring on stage associate product manager at PTC Vuforia, Duffy Fallon. Give it up. Hi, everyone. Uh, good to be here with you all. Uh, my first Augie Award ceremony, uh, presenting the category uh, best campaign. Um, so, you know, in today's world of digital noise, I, I don't think it's any secret to all of us in this room that uh, AR is an incredibly powerful tool uh, that allows for brands to connect and engage with consumers <clears throat> uh, in much more meaningful ways. Um, and on behalf of Euphoria, um, we're very proud to support all of the developers and marketers uh, and, their and their creativity uh, in doing just that. Um, creating ground groundbreaking AR campaigns um, that both drive engagement and business results. So with that said, congratulations to all the nominees and finalists, and they are. The nominees for best campaign are Augmented Passion, Russia World Cup 2018 by VR Americas, VK Dinos by Biz AR Reality. Johnson Controls HoloLens Product Launch by Valian Studios. Fox Movies VR by Creote Studios Limited. I Caught It AR Canon New York Jets Campaign by Experial. Acura AR Race by Current Studios. Living Wine Labels Treasury Wine Estates by Tactic. And the winner is... Uh, Acura AR Race by Current Studios. Woo! The best way to experience the 2018 Acura TLX is to actually drive it. Augmented reality was the perfect medium for this experience. The car provided the real physical sensation of driving, while the technology provided the rich visuals and sounds of the Arctic, the jungle and an active volcano, all in the same race. To make this all come together successfully, we had to do three things. First, we had to give the driver something they could see the experience in. Then we needed to be able to track the vehicle live in real time and we needed to provide an environment to scale. We looked at all the available technology that would help make this possible, and although there were fragments of it here and there, there was nothing that contained everything we needed to bring to life these massive augmented reality tracks. So we decided to build a custom helmet. We took a full color HD LED display and projected the contents down onto a semi-transparent piece of glass. And that piece of glass worked like a two-way mirror and was able to give them a near field representation of the augmented reality scene with 80 degree field of view, while also allowing them to see their hands and the full interior of the vehicle, tracking the head movement with a custom gyroscope. We found a great location in an abandoned marine base outside Los Angeles. It had enough indoor and outdoor space to allow us to create more than three acres of augmented reality worlds across three unique environments. This is not our first Augie. Um, and let me tell you, it means, it means more to me than any of the Can Lions we win, any of the Leahs we win, or any of the Webbies we win. It is because the people who vote for this know how friggin' hard it is to build what we build. 
And uh, so thank you. Come, come here. All right, our next category, best consumer app. To present the award, board member of augmentedreality.org, Brian Mullins, give it up. In our industry, the focus is frequently on the technology and the many, many obstacles that this group has to overcome to take that technology mainstream. Uh, but it's important for us all to remember that designing new realities for people is more about the people. And it's for that reason that the Augmented Reality Award for Best Consumer App becomes a showcase of how far we've come in delivering that future where people, real people, can use the technology in their daily lives. And the nominees this year for Best Consumer App are... The nominees for Best Consumer Apps are Markalux 3D by View AR. Mio. Scrite. My Austrian Premium Economy by View AR. Pulse Tech by Pharma Consult. IKEA Place. Stream. And the best consumer application for augmented reality is IKEA Place. What can I say? It's such a great honor to, uh, to receive the award. And indeed, as the other speakers already said, um, it is hard uh, to, to do this properly. And uh, yeah, we really just really want to thank the jury. Thank you all for voting. And also, particularly, the trust that IKEA has placed in us, as well as uh, the great collaboration that we've had with Space 10, uh, Apple, and Google. Um, yeah. And of course, our, our team that has worked so hard to, uh, to make this all possible. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right, we're up to the next category. Best creator and authoring tool. A new category presented by Brendan Bray from Microsoft Tolerance.
tools really are as old as the story of civilization. It is tools that separate like intelligence in humanity. And it's with tools that make all of the creations that everyone in this room is so yearning for in this uh, new civilization that we're creating with augmented reality. And with that, the nominations for best creator and authoring tool are. The nominees for best creator and authoring tool are Lens Studio by Snap Inc. Augmented Web Experiences by AWE Media. Augmania Studio by PTC AR Designer by Environment by Verizon Gravity Sketch And the winner is Gravity Sketch Woo! It's so beautiful. Um, well, thank you so much, AWE. Um, but mostly, thank you so much to everyone that uses Gravity Sketch every day and gives us their feedback. Um, that's the most important thing for us. We do Gravity Sketch. We develop the experience with so much love and passion every day, and it's so good to see that you know people are actually like feeling that and experiencing Gravity Sketch. Uh, the same way as we do create it. So thank you so much. All right, this way, please. All right, we're moving fast. In our next category is the best developer tool. To present the award, David Beard, product management, Dacry. Give it up. Developer tools are really fundamental to what we do because they make the sciences and technologies that power AR accessible to developers and enable us to focus on creating solutions and experiences that really bring our vision to life. So this is a very active area of development and always a hotly contested category. Let's see who the finalists are this year. The nominees for best developer tool are Euphoria Engine, AR Navigation by Insider Navigation. Wikitude SDK 7. View AR SDK. Navisense Motion DNA. Unity. And this year's winner is Unity. Unity. Okay now. Exciting. I think last year I, I gave one of these away, and this year I'm, I'm getting one, so that there's balance. 
Uh, actually, this, this award is, is really something I'd like to share with all of the creators out there, all of the creators who use Unity. Um, you're doing such exciting things, and that's really what keeps us going. You're changing the world. Thank you so much. And I'd actually, you know, actually, interestingly enough, too, I, I was going to say I was going to share this with some of the other nominees, but I think uh, IKEA Place and uh, AR Acura Race and who else? So far? Everyone. Wicked dude, yeah, as some of the other people in my category, thank you so much. This means so much to us. Congratulations, let's come. You gotta give it to them. All right, moving on to best enterprise solution to present the award. Dr. Hong Choi, CTO of Coppin. Give it up. I'm so excited to present this year's OG Award in Enterprise Solutions. I believe the enterprise application will be one of the areas that AR and VR will make a real impact. Uh, this year's nominees are the nominees for Best Enterprise Solution are Volkswagen AR Indoor Navigation by Volkswagen and Insider Navigation. High AR Industry. Ethical Self-Brain Hacking by VR Americas LLC. VR AR in Surgery by Aris MD. Proceedix. Hollow Room Test Drive by Lowe's Innovation Labs. Skylight by Upskill. And the winner is... Hollow Rooms, Rooms Test Drive by Lowe's Innovation Lab. Lack of confidence and access to the right tools stop many DIY projects before they even begin. With the overwhelming number of power tool options available today, it's no surprise DIYers are throwing in the towel. Lowe's Innovation Labs saw an opportunity to use virtual reality as an enterprise solution to develop customer and associate confidence. Hollerum Test Drive expands on the success of the Try Before You Buy model by providing a multi-sensory product education experience that utilizes haptics, scent, sound, and visuals. In its first iteration, Lowe's customers learn how to use the Cobalt Hedge Trimmer. The experience teaches product features, safety tips, and proper tool handling, followed by a guided shaping and designing session. Customers have the option to enter an arcade mode where they can refine their skills and race the clock. In the safety of virtual reality, users learn repeatable skills and can engage with products like never before. We even built a custom-made controller that features true-to-life weight and haptics. With upwards of 10 AR and VR pilots over the past four years, we have achieved a 127% increase in confidence after a single VR experience. There's no question, virtual reality reaches well beyond visualization. It's a platform that lends itself to scalable product education solutions for both customers and associates. Thank you guys so much. This means um, a lot for a company like Lowe's. It's super exciting to be accepting this award right now and to be a part of um, AWE. So thank you. Come, come here for a photo. All right, thanks very much. All right, we're almost there, guys. Uh, we're now moving on to our next category, which is best game or toy to present the award, our very own co-founder of AWE, T. Shoot, give it up. Hi, this is actually my favorite category. Um, I, I was lucky enough to spend four years working on games and toys with Will Wright, but games and toys and play and our imagination, that's the future of humanity and it's the future of AR, VR. So I was really excited this year to see the range of uh, the creativity and the, just the expression which covered really a wide range of media and ideas, so I'm excited to see who won. The nominees for best game or toy are Puzzle AR, World Tour by Vika Studios. Red Matter 
by Vertical Robot. Drone Topolis AR by Circle Square Entertainment. Little Hippo AR Books. Holotats by Balti Virtual. Merge Cube. Star Wars Jedi Challenge by Lenovo. And the winner is Star Wars Jedi, Jedi Challenge by Lenovo. Thank you, Ori and uh, Tish. This is a tremendous honor to accept this award on behalf of uh, Lenovo. As a kid who grew up in the 70s with a plastic lightsaber from Toys R Us, this was the ultimate project to sort of create this um, AR-enabled lightsaber experience. Hopefully, a lot of you have tried it and enjoyed it. Um, I want to thank, obviously, Disney, our partner uh, on this, as well as Eximerse and the development studio Shell Games and Blind Squirrel. Thanks again. And um, that's it. Yeah, that's that's it. Thanks. Moving on to the next category, best head worn device. And to present the award, here in Behinde from Qualcomm, give it up. How's everybody doing tonight? That's a lot of energy. How's everybody doing tonight? There you go. You know, uh, as I was sitting there, I was thinking about, uh, this is my second uh, uh, Augie Award season and the AWE show. One of the things I realized is that uh, Ari puts on this amazing show and uh, we get to thank everyone and award everyone. I think we should just take a moment and uh, give a huge round of applause to this gentleman here for putting such an awesome show. Thank you. Stop it. And Stop I know it. he represents uh, the, whole, the whole team at uh, Awe is awesome. Second, um, I, you know, for me it feels like being at a concert or at a game uh, for my favorite team because everybody I talk to, uh, ima I work at Qualcomm. Qualcomm's a big company with 30,000 people. We do a lot of things with smartphones. And there's a lot of people who are uh, new to the vision of XR. I'm here and everybody gets it. So it's like uh, going to a U2 concert and everybody singing to the same song. So I know a lot of you relate and I can see a few people smiling and nodding their heads. So again, congratulations to all of us on working something that's extraordinary and revolutionary. Now to the main thing, the award, head worn device. I've been working on building standalone devices, uh, reference devices at Qualcomm for the last three years, so I know it's not uh, an easy task to do. And uh, there's a lot of intimate details that goes into making these devices. So congratulations to all the nominees, and can we have a list of the nominees, please? The nominees for best head-worn device are Action One by Shadow Creator, IQ Buds by Nuhira, Hi AR G100 by HiScene, Toshiba Dyna Edge AR Smart Glasses, Digilens Mono HUD, HMT1 by Realware, Vive Pro by HTC Vive, PlayStation VR by Sony Interactive Entertainment. And the award goes to Wife Pro by HTC. Yeah, as a boy, always knew I one day had the courage to be king. Yeah, time flew when I grew up. Now I'm ready for the promise that it brings. You only wanted me to screw up, but it's something that you're never gonna see. Yeah, everything that you hoped for, yeah, it was only in a dream. Yeah, yeah. time and time again, I wake up and enemies might attack. Yeah. All that matters, in my opinion, is that the dynasty lasts. Yeah. So be careful how you talk to me. Talk to me. Cause there's only one king. 
Thanks, uh, AWE. Uh, it's an honor. Uh, and of course, on, on behalf of all the Vibe teams at HTC, uh, thank you to all the creators for, for using us. And we're looking for even better experiences in the future. Almost there, guys. Best input and output hardware. So this is how we interact, but using some hardware. To present the award, Director of Global Product Management at Bosch, Jurgen Lumera. Um, it's really a pleasure to present this award, because we from Bosch, we build a lot of devices, input devices, everything. But we don't play in this um, area, at least not at the moment. But we really need things like that. So I'm just the person who has said before, he feels like being home, everybody talks about, I must just echo this. I feel like being exactly where I should be with AR. And then having these new devices, having all of these new development is really, really great. And the nominees for this category are? The nominees for Best Input and Output Hardware are Simulated Reality by Demenko, Holo Stylus by Hololite, Mudra Inspire by Wearable Devices Limited, R Vista 70 by Rayon Tech, Haptics Digital Signage by Ultra Haptics, Sense Glove. And the winner is? Holo Stylos by Holo Light. Thank you very much. Um, we, we think that this is just a really great ecosystem. Um, all of us, we try to, to build up and create a new market. And um, we are very happy that we can provide a tool to, to really work on the, the interaction. Because we think we have really great tools, and we saw some of them already. But uh, the interaction with the virtual content that we create uh, is a key for us. And so we are very happy. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Philip, is our lead developer in, in Holostylist, and I'd like to thank uh, him and all the team. They spent hours and hours. Uh, really great. Yeah, I look really forward to celebrate this with the team who was working, working really hard that we get the new prototype done for the AWE. So thank you very much, and it's a honor. Roberto. I think this is the 10th category, and it go, it's the best interaction software tools presented by Pearly Chen, Chief of Staff for HTC. Give it up. You're back on stage. Great. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? Good? Um, um, in just been between you and the party, right? So we'll get this going quickly. As we enter the metaverse, the future of the metaverse that all of us are working so hard to build, there will be no delineation between VR or AR or any of the compositions in between. 
we will just be interacting with the virtual and augmented world in a seamless, frictionless, and continuous way. But how do we interact? Thankfully, many innovative companies are already trailblazing in this space, creating the new paradigms of human-computer interfaces. And they include face, gaze, hand tracking, gesture recognition, and even brain-computer interfaces. Others are augmenting our existing solutions, including using smartphones and scanning solutions to create virtual walkthroughs, or um, using software to make any of the existing 2D screens interactive and fun. Thank you all for doing what you're doing in designing the future of interaction. Let's see who these trailblazing creators are. The nominees for best interaction software tools are Superb Reality XR Gesture Control, Man Emotion, Lumo Play by Lumo Interactive. Geo CV Smartphone Scanner. Future of VR Storytelling by Quantum Interface. And the winner is... Manomotion! Manomotion. Extremely happy to receive this award. Thank you, AWE. Uh, this actually goes out to the team back home. They have worked really, really hard. Hand tracking is really super, super hard. You need to track about two million movements in real time. Um, this goes out to Sharus, my co-founder and CTO. He's the guy behind our technology. He spent the last seven years only working on hand tracking. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do a quick photo. Okay, now we're switching gears because, you know, we're almost running out of uh, Augie Awards. Uh, we have now the Nextint Awards that will be presented by the Virtual World Society. So to present the presenters, please put your hands together for my idol, Dr. Tom Furness. Give it up. You have no idea how gratifying it is to be here and to see your faces. I've been working on VR and AR and XR for a long, long time. And most of those years were trying to build the tools. But now we have a whole new world of uses of those tools. Not what it is, but what it does. And as developers and users of these tools, we have a great responsibility to use these to lift mankind, to unlock intelligence, and to link hearts. We like to think of the Virtual World Society as the humanitarian arm of the AWE. We are married to the AWE. But this prize, the Nextant Prize, is like the Nobel Prize of XR. The Board of Directors 
of the Virtual World Society, along with his membership, is proud to be able to present this award to two tonight, two wonderful people, for the amazing contributions that they've made, not only in developing technology and the use of that technology, but for their hearts and what they put into it. So first of all, I'd like to introduce uh, Jackie, Jackie Moray, who is a member of the Board of Directors of the Virtual World Society to make the first presentation. Thanks, Tom. So about 10 years ago, I was in the amazing position of having Nani de la Pena as my intern at the University of Southern California's Institute for Creative Technologies. She was a unique intern for me to have because she was already an award-winning documentary filmmaker and journalist. She had one singular focus, which was to invent the field of immersive journalism. People said she was crazy. And I said, no, you're really, really on to something. You've got to continue doing this. Now, it's a lifetime achievement award when your intern eclipses you in so many ways, which Noni has done in, in just amazing ways with all of the documentary immersive uh, journalistic experiences she's created, the awards she's won, and the work she continues to do to push this medium. So I am honored to be able to present this next int award to Nani De La Pena. Woo! So, um, you know, you feel like an imposter when you get something like this, right? They talk about an imposter thing. When I think of all the people who came before me and all their hard work and all the huge amount of effort by so many people on my team, um, this really barely belongs to me. It belongs to all the people before and, and all the people after, like you guys, because this field is so amazing, and the stories we can tell, and the way we can make people feel is like nothing else. So please, please keep it up, and, and, and I really feel so honored. Thank you. to now present the second award and at last ask uh, Linda Jacobson of the Board of Directors of the Virtual World Society to make that presentation. Hey fam. One of the most curious people you will ever meet is Mark Bolas. Mark Bolas has always been curious about how to advance the human experience using technology. Since the 80s, Mark has been prolific in developing hardware and software with amazing attention to human senses and perception with great regard for the human body. He is a rare combination of engineer, scientist, musician, and humanist. I met Mark in 1990 at the Cyber Arts Conference in Los Angeles where he was demoing uh, the virtual reality products invented by his startup, FakeSpace, which he co-founded as a Stanford University grad student with Ian McDowell and Eric Lorimer. They invented VR display and interaction tools used around the world by virtual reality creators and developers and researchers and educators and students, including the ubiquitous Boom binocular omni orientation monitor, the Pinch Glove, VLib software, and the groundbreaking face, Fake Space Music Project. Mark Bolas's vision and commitment to exploration has advanced the technical capabilities and creative possibilities for VR, sparking the imaginations of countless, countless inventors and creators. For example, before joining Microsoft Research, Mark led the Mixed Reality Lab at University of Southern California, where his team developed a cell phone-based VR viewer that later, everyone knows, Google popularized. While at USC, Mark hired and mentored a very lucky young man whose head-mounted display prototype became the Kickstarter project, Oculus, later purchased by Facebook. Without Mark's leadership, this XR community would not be where it is today. 
We're thrilled, I'm thrilled, the Virtual World Society's thrilled to recognize Mark's decades of achievements, inspiring, mentoring, teaching, playing, laughing and teasing and asking a lot of questions. Mark Wallace, we're, come on up, come on up and get this next advice. There you are. Our culture is starting to believe that every question has an answer, that every thought belongs in a box, that nuance can be rounded up to one or down to zero. But it's space between the zero and the one. It's that nuance, the wiggle in the line, the analog. That's what makes us human. This is a wonderful, wonderful medium because it promises to bring dignity back to the tools we use as humans our hands, our body language, our tone of voice. We have a responsibility to hold true to this promise of the medium and to not let it devolve into the undignified mess of our two-dimensional computing. This is it. As I've watched loved ones pass away, uh, as I've realized that I'll never be able to do all the projects I want to do or answer all the questions I want to answer, it's become clear that all it's about is our presence. It's all we have to give, it's all we have to harvest from, it's all we have to have with other people. It's our presence. And the people in this room, this field, this medium, our users are placing their complete trust of their presence in us because we're taking over a lot of their presence. So let's make sure that it's a medium in which people can amplify and share their presence with others. Let's make sure that people manipulate their virtual worlds and not the other way around. There are so many people to think it's impossible, but I have to point out to USC, to the Institute of Creative Technologies, to Stanford, and to the Department of Defense for their patience and just generous support of this work over the years. A special thanks has to go out to Scott Fisher, who taught me that supporting people with benign neglect is the best way to get great work out of them and to Ian McDowell, my partner in crime for almost 30 years, um, a person that has a mind for systems design unlike any other. Um, I, there's just so many people and all of you that I've known for so long. Thank you very much. <laughs> That concludes the uh, ceremony so far. We had 10 Augie Awards, two Next Tent Awards. So I wanted to all have fun. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Let's keep working on making more and more products to win more Augies. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>